Welcome to the Line Array Calculator 3 feature update video for version 3.3. This video is a quick overview of new features and improvements introduced in this update. In this version, we have added support for some new accessories. The A8MF, or mini frame, is a compact, lightweight, and low profile frame that can support the weight of up to 10 A8s, depending on the configuration. The mini frame can be used standalone or in conjunction with the new VTX RC500 rotating clamp for truss and pipe deployments. The mini frame is compatible with both the A8 and B18 and can be used with single or side-by-side -side suspension points. To use the mini frame, first go to the configuration page and select single point. Then select A8MF as the array frame type. We've now introduced support for the A8 base plate, which allows for up to eight A8 cabinets to be stacked on top of VTX subwoofers like the B18 to create ground stacked configurations. The A8 BP attaches to subwoofers using the M20 pole mount plate and allows A8 arrays to start from angles ranging from minus 15 degrees to plus five degrees. To use the A8 BP, first select ground stacked array and choose A8 in the system selection menu. To adjust the base plate angle, use the AF line in the speaker list. Note that accessories are now shown in the mapping window for better system positioning, and the auto calculate angles function is now available in this mode also. For more information on both the base plate and mini frame, refer to the VTX rigging manual found on the JBL website. In addition to these new accessories, we've also refined the way some accessories and frames are handled. For example, when a V25 system is selected, the V20 downfill adapter is now available in the speaker list. Just as with the speaker, the angle control can be used to adjust the angle of the downfill adapter. Several improvements were implemented in the LAC venue page. For example, when a new plane is added, the new plane's front coordinates automatically start where the previous plane ended. Also, when the focus is on the last coordinate of a plane, the tab key can be used to create a new plane, allowing for venue creation with only keyboard input. The zoom functionality has also been improved throughout LAC. To zoom to a specific section of the venue, hold the control key and drag using the mouse to select an area to zoom into. A double left click will return the venue view back to 100%. Transferring venues from one instance of LAC to another is now much easier. To transfer a venue, right click anywhere on the venue and then select Copy Venue Geometry. Then open another instance of LAC and right click on the venue and paste the venue geometry. All planes and plane properties transfer over. In some cases, certain areas of a venue can block the coverage of a system and create coverage problems. Identifying potential coverage issues has been significantly improved in LAC 3.3 by the addition of SPL coverage shadowing. When coverage shadowing is enabled in the main menu, venue planes are used to cast a shadow and show coverage problems. This problem is especially prevalent in tall venues with multiple balconies and using coverage shadowing can help determine the ideal position of an array or identify areas that could benefit from auxiliary systems. A new Ease GLL configuration export feature has been added to LAC. This makes transferring arrays from LAC to Ease 4 much easier using a simple configuration file. Once an array design has been completed, go to the main menu and then select Export to Ease GLL and store the configuration file. Within the Ease GLL, go to File and then select Open Configuration. All array parameters like angles, number of cabinets, and gain shading are transferred over. All VTX Ease GLL files can be found in their respective product pages on the JBL Pro website. Getting your system design to PDF has been simplified. 
the print and print preview dialogs now generate a PDF immediately for saving, sharing, or printing. This report can be generated using Control P or you can find it under the main menu as Export to PDF. If you would like to find more education resources, please be sure to check out jblpro.com edu for links to additional resources, training calendars, and more videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.